Flower Plant Killer here, Jesse with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. And in today's video, we are planting Nigelia seed. All right, guys, we are continuing on this cool flowers journey. And y'all know I have a history with Nigelia seed. I am mad. Why? I planted Nigelia seed, Starry Night, and Love in the Mist over a week ago. And there's nothing. I'm gonna throw these in the refrigerator out of anger. Get in there and think about what y'all did. That ought to teach them seeds a lesson. Holy moly, do you see what I see right here? Do you see that? Again, love in a mist. What? This year I am fall sowing it. I'm following Lisa Mason Ziegler's instructions. It has the book, Cool Flowers and Trucks. Direct sowing them, covering them, and leaving them in the winter for a good, sturdy plant. Last year, as you saw in the following clip, I had thrown out some seed the previous fall and trying to get them to sow like in August to come up for that fall planting and that didn't work out at all. But that following spring, they bloomed when I planted the daffodils, which is crazy. So this year, we're going to try a fall planting and pray that it works. We'll see, I'm planting a lot more of it in a lot of different varieties. So let's go over the varieties I'm planting today. From Geo Seed, I am planting Persian Mulberry Rose, African Bride. From Hollowtail Seed Company, I am trying Persian Jewels Mix and Persian Jewels Indigo Mix. I'm going to try from Florette Flowers, Love and a Mist Starry Night Mix, and from Johnny's Love and a Mist. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jesse, and well, I'm a former plant killer located in Russell, Louisiana, zone 8B, and this season, I'm on a cool flowers journey. So, Lisa Mason Ziegler says that these are winter hardy to zone 6, so she recommends for zone 5 that you can fall sow these as long as you use a row cover, a nice little frost off row cover over them, you should be able to overwinter them. So, zone 5 and south, you can fall sow these. I'm zone eight, so here's hoping it works. So my holes are at nine inches. That's how far I'm spacing my Nigelia seed. Lisa says you can do it as close as six inches, and that's what she recommends for cutting, but for landscaping, nine inches. With our hot, humid summers here, I'm gonna start off at nine inches and see how they do. If they do great, then I can space them at six inches next year and see how they do. You know, that's just part of it is you read it in a book, the book says one thing, but you don't really know until you actually go to grow these yourself in your zone, in your area. I'm excited to give these a try. I'm excited to learn. I'm keeping my own set of notes for myself so that next year I know that, hey, you know, Lisa's book says this, but I found doing this actually worked better or this didn't work. That's what this is about. I'll go ahead and start some seeds inside as well, just to make sure that I've got some Nigelia. So if these don't work out, I've got backups. And that's what we do here is have a backup plan. And that's one of the great things about Cool Flowers, right? That if it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal because we have time. They may not be as good or as robust, but I've got time to start them again. It's all about learning this year and figuring out what works. All right, guys, all the seeds are in. I'm not watering these today because we got lots of rain yesterday. So now all we need to do is wait until spring. Now, last year I did start these indoors during the spring and I was successful in getting them to germinate and transplant. Not that many, but several. So if you'd like to see what these young seedlings will look like in a month, be sure to click the video beside me. And if you're interested in watching my flower farm journey from year one, be sure to click the playlist beside me as well. And I'll see y'all there. Bye.